hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to simulate a project online on isp soft firstly you're going to open the projects that you have created on the previous videos you can check on the link on the description to check how we wrote our program this is a simple start stop program using also a timer for on and off delay as you can see when i press simulation it's compiling the projects but now it won't go online as you can see invalid drive or com gr uh, com gr it's a software for drivers on the delta isp soft or on the delta uh, plc softwares uh, so if you check plc model which is a uh, ss2 then uh, uh, comgr this is the software you install it separately from your project then because it's already installed as you can see down there I'll just press open as you can see right now I don't have any drivers so just press on add uh, we can rename the driver I'll just uh, write the uh, PLC sim you can even write any other mode of communication that you'll be using as you can see here type of communication or connection you have your RS422, USB, Ethernet, DVP, SIM. These are all the type of uh, communication that you can use to communicate with your PLC. Uh, port number will just leave it there, but you can change it. And then uh, device settings. Device setting now remember that to check out your plc type so we are using a ss2 type so you'll have to click uh, the ss2 but you can also go and confirm from your project as you can see it's ss2 so i'll click on ss2 on my crane yeah the set response just leave it as it is as you can see now we have created a, a drive uh, you can press the press start to start your drive you can also go there to config maybe if it's not communicating or there's something missing or you want to change the device type you can also press add to add another drive maybe if you want to use a rs422 or ethernet so you just press start and then I'll just say allow so as you can see the status there is start so now we can minimize the crime because it has started so now again let's try to click on online mode as you can see still not able to communicate now we go to the next step of uh, configuring the communication so you'll go to tools and then communication settings and on communication settings you have to select your drive as you can see there's no drive that is selected so the drive should appear there all the drives that you've set it they will appear there if you have other drives uh, for now we'll leave it at zero the station address i'll explain it at a later stage of this tutorial so everything now it's good to go that's how you configure the settings for a plc simulation online simulation say okay 
then you can see now you can transfer this is the first way of uh, going online and you can transfer as you can see it immediately goes online uh, it doesn't download everything because you just need the code or when you are using plc as you can see now we are online now we can uh, set on and set off by just right clicking on your contacts and then you'll be able to simulate your your project uh, let me show you another way of uh, going online i'll just go offline then you go to transfer you can see download there there's also a download icon there you can press it it's all the the same way just uh, another way of doing it we have four ways of uh, downloading or going online you can see everything but you see this one doesn't go automatically online you still have to press the online mode icon to go online uh, to cut this video short i will end here for this one on the next tutorial i'll be showing you how to set it on and off uh, thank you please like and subscribe and follow for more videos uh, the question for today for a quiz you can answer on the comment section below the question will be can the plc sim be able to communicate if the device type is not the same with the one on your driver settings for example if i choose the se on my project and on the comcrem i used the se thank you please follow like and comment and share see you on the next video